When the devastation of the flood hit South Carolina, Cynthia Shepard wanted to do everything she could to help. This led to hundreds of people not only helping the community, but helping the whole state. We thought it was just going to be us and a couple days, and it turned into 10, 10 days, 12 hour days each day, and just constant work. I mean, with the guys delivering and the guys loading and offloading and all the generous people, it's just been amazing. We had so many volunteers last week while we were out of school that we actually ended up having to turn a few away, which was amazing. But we probably had between 50 and 100 every day. Um, we had a lot more help when the schools were out. The, kid, the students from Chapin and Dutch Fork and Spring Hill that came and helped us were valuable to us. It's been completely overwhelming. There's been times where we've had two lines of cars backed up all the way to the road in the pouring rain, dropping off items quicker than we could get them inside. It's been fantastic. When the church members first began volunteering, they were hoping to collect certain items that people who were affected by the flood need. A few items such as clothes, toiletries, food, water, and bed sheets were needed. With devastation comes shock and then grief, and we wanted to offer assistance in not only physical provisions, we've offered toiletries and bedding and um, everything for a family whose house was flooded. What we're accomplishing here is helping out the people who have been affected by the flood in, in a lot of ways by providing clothing, food, supplies, and making runs to shelters and homes. After 10 days of the most generous people in Chapin, Irmo, and Ballantyne coming by here and giving us water, food, clothing donations, and medicine, and money, and gift cards, we've been able to not only help our families locally here, some in the district, um, really all over South Carolina we've been able to help and to get rid of some of the impact that they've had to face with the floods. The flood has lifted people's spirits. We are in a, in a position where we can help other people and it, it has brought an entire community together. For Shepard, her fate and gratefulness for her church is what made her the most thankful for this whole experience. It has been a, amazing. I mean, I must say, if you don't see God's hands in this, it's just it's something that's been so overwhelming to me. We actually are members of this church, and for them to open the church to us, first of all, and then let us just have it for the past 10 days, it's just been amazing to me. This has been Maddie Mason with your Silver Screen Report.